someone who experienced extreme trauma, when they compare themselves to other people who didn't maybe have those same types of trauma, they will believe that they are broken beyond repair and that they can't be restored fully, which is not true. And so trauma comparison is just so dangerous as we talk about how dangerous it is to compare achievements, but it's even more dangerous to compare trauma and our wounds and our growth, our experiences. Every person's lived experiences are valid. We all deserve to take the time and to go within and to connect to every aspect of who we really are and heal all of our trauma and our wounds and live our best life. And humans have a tendency to compare and it's not necessarily healthy because if you mm -hmm. can just work on your own issues and solve what's going on with you, the world is going to look different to you. It's the old term, smile at the world and it smiles back at you. Oh, beautiful. I love that. That's exactly what happens. Part of the healing journey is that we gain all of these perspectives that allows us to have grace, forgiveness of self, forgiveness of others. But with that increased level of awareness, we have the ability to have an immense amount of grace for others to actually be able to say, I know how my trauma and my inability to connect with my emotions was showing up in my life and how it was destructive to my relationships, my time, my money, 